In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a simulated text pop-up even in Fluidbox Responsive Design. I got a message from one of my viewers uh, today and they were asking about creating a text pop-up and I gave them some advice on how they could do it. But it got me to thinking about how would I do it with Fluidbox Responsive Design. And I came up with the idea of simulating what a text pop-up would look like. And you could use the same solution for, you know, a glossary of terms that uh, users would jump to from a particular slide. Could also be used for, you know, navigating to a help slide and so on. And I'll show you the, uh, the key steps in producing this here. So as you can see, I've got a basic uh, couple of slides set up in my Adobe Captivate project here. Uh, this is a fluid box responsive design, so this will work on a variety of different screen sizes. This first slide is simply to get you to skip all of these optional slides. Here is one of those optional slides, and you could have many of these inside a single project. Uh, when the learners first arrive in this course, they're going to arrive on slide one. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the on exit action for this slide to skip past the, all, all of that optional content. Now to make it appear as if it's not actually appearing, we're going to make it really short on the slide. I'm just going to make it a third of a second in this case here. Now the exit action for this slide will be to rather than go to next slide as it would obviously do we're going to jump to slide three where my actual title will be so we'll change the on exit action to jump to slide and we'll choose of course slide three that's it for this one here now here is my simulated pop-up because as you can see i've created some text it could explain a, you know a term or something like that and what they'll do the only navigation away from this slide uh, i've turned off the inbuilt play bar at the bottom of the course so the only thing that people can click on are the buttons that i provide them in this case here this x button will essentially simulate closing the uh, the text pop up here and of course uh, what I'm going to do is have this actually instead of go to next slide go to previous slide we're going to go to the slide last visited so for example I might have uh, this term defined on this page and maybe it's referenced throughout the course so this they could be coming to the slide from any number of places within the course so go to the slide last visited will cover all of those scenarios. So if the user does click this, clicking X will return them to where they left off. Uh, now, of, of course, when we started on slide one, we skipped straight to slide three. The only navigation I'm giving users here is a simple next button. Maybe there's some uh, narration or background music for the opening slide. And then we're right into the course content. And here's an example of a standard course content slide. So what I'm going to do in this case here, I could use buttons to jump to that particular pop-up slide or any number of things. Uh, shapes used as buttons, images used as buttons. But in this case here, I'm actually going to use a, a not frequently used feature. And that's actually creating a hyperlink within my text here. So we'll select the text that we want to use. Let's say uh, we want to define this word here. And we're going to click on the hyperlink, the insert hyperlink button in my properties inspector. And that's going to allow me to link to any number of different resources. In this case here, I'm going to select slide, which is the fourth item on the list. And I can do a number of different things, but in this case, I'm very specifically wanting to bring my learners to slide number two. So I'm going to select that slide number two and click OK. And you'll see that now that text appears as a hyperlink. All right, let's try this out here. We'll do a preview of this project uh, and see how it works. We'll go ahead and hit play. As you can see, slide one went by so quickly, we barely even noticed it, and we're already on slide three, which is my official course title. 
and I can continue with the rest of the course by clicking on this uh, next button down here. And now we're on our content slide. So you can see we've got all our text, we've got the image of the woman on the phone, and we could use the normal navigation, but if I'm unsure of a definition, I could click on that word and it brings me instantly to my little pop-up here. And of course, clicking on the X will return me back to the content slide. And you can have as many of those as you wish uh, just prior to your title page and it should work great. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.